Sicilian defense, closed, 2, d6. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. That was an incredible middle game by both players. White outmaneuvered black in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. The closed Sicilian tries for slower growth without a quick push to d4 and controls d5 with the knight. d6 controls the e5 square, safeguards the c5 pawn, and promotes the development of the light squared bishop. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Recaptures This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing queen. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is the last book move. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. That's good. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. It is best. This poses a knight winning threat. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling queenside tends to be more active because the rook is closer to the center. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This protects the attacked pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. It's alright. That's good. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. It is ideal. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This threatens to win a rook. It is excellent. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. This poses a material threat. It is ideal. When a rook retreats, this attack wins a tempo. That's good. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. This poses a knight winning threat. It is ideal. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a knight. It is best. This strikes a rival knight. It is quite good. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. This poses a knight winning threat. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. That's good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is ideal. This poses a threat to a bishop who is confined. It is ideal. This makes it impossible for the adversary to assault a trapped bishop. It is ideal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. As a result, 
the rooks are placed in a single file and are able to cooperate to pose a danger. It is ideal. This enables the adversary to capture a pawn and gain territory. It is incorrect. This captures a vulnerable pawn. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. This enables the adversary can grab an open file containing a rook. It is incorrect. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. This accomplishes this by posing a threat to a rook and compelling it to flee. It is quite good. This protects a rook that was being attacked without any defense. It is ideal. This strikes the opponent's bishop. It is ideal. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. It's alright. That's good. As a result, the adversary can take an open file containing a rook. It is incorrect. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. This pushes a passed pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. That pawn was available for free. That's good. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This threatens to win a rook. It is best. A wise decision. It is quite good. This doubles the rooks onto a single file, which allows them to team up to create threats. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This wins time by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This wins time by threatening a bishop and forcing it to retreat away. It is ideal. This protects the bishop who was attacked. It is ideal. This defends the attacked rook. This is the start of the end game and black is losing. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. The bishop is now in a secure position. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. White still has the upper hand, but they are no longer in a position to win. It is incorrect. Thus, a pawn is lost. It is incorrect. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is ideal. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is incorrect. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. That's good. A passed pawn is pushed by this. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. This prevents the adversary from moving a passed pawn toward promotion. It is ideal. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is incorrect. There was just one smart move to be made. This misses a chance to trade pieces. It falls flat. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is incorrect. This is the only move that works. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a great move. This threatens to use a rook to support a passed pawn. It is good. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. This stops the opponent from being able to use a rook to support a passed pawn. It is excellent. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is incorrect. This is the only good move. It is a great move. That's a decent move. That's good. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. 
It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. A powerful play. It is quite good. This threatens to capture a trapped rook. It is best. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. That was an incredible middle game by both players. White outmaneuvered black in the end game.